Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Miart. It is molded in 135 scale, it is named as a dinner on the front and as you can see on the box art it copies uh, quite an interesting diorama scene which might be handy for 135 scale project. So this is a commercial release and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all here we have the standard mini art pack here you can see comparison with my hand a quite nice box art by the way then on the side we have some information about the kit some safety devices and address of the manufacturer in case you would like to visit them and here we have some other kits in the same scale so you can find their video review on our youtube channel so just type in the uh, kit number or maybe name and you'll find those reviews on our channel as I said before. So here we also have the short list of the features and there are five figures, furniture, dishes, potbelly stove, samovar, infantry weapon and equipment and all this stuff will have to be combined together. So let's open this box. It's a top opening box as you can see and inside we have all plastic frames packed into the same plastic bag and then on the bottom we have assembly manual obviously we'll start with plastic and then we'll continue with assembly manual and other stuff so just give me a second to open it in the meantime let me remind you that we are a non-profit channel so it means uh, we work on our own expenses and you can help us to develop our photo and video reviews we have special donate button on our website so you just click it and choose the amount you would like to send us via PayPal. It is quite safe and fast and of course all this money will be used in order to improve photo and video quality of our reviews. So what do we have here? First of all on the top we have the sprue these figure parts as you can see those I guess all soldiers are fit here so we can zoom in even more and you'll see these parts closer so overall parts division is typical for 135 scale it means separate legs, hands, torso and heads and molding quality looks really great let's not forget that this is standard out of the box plastic um, this is not a resin but still it offers quite the same level of details here and of course with some careful painting you will be able to bring out all those details and get even more impressive result. In my opinion that's really great that Mini Art supplies such detailed stuff out of the box. Next we have infantry equipment and weapons for the Soviet soldiers. Here you can see this plastic sprue, so it includes various um, helmets. Also here we have some pioneer tools, uh, water cans and grenades here. And I think these are the spoons, maybe. Yeah, those are the spoons, those tiny parts, which is really funny. I did not notice them the last time. Okay, next we go on with special stove. So as you can see it will have to be glued out of separate parts and what's really cool is that we have this let's say hatches or doors molded separately and overall body of this stove is molded as a one piece element so it's a matter of um, I mean you have a lot of assembly possibilities which might be handy in some um, uh, different projects. Next we go on with this plastic sprue just give me a second I'll bring it closer so here it is. Obviously these parts will be handy for the table and for example this large plate it features wooden texture which should look really good even with some basic painting because the texture is already pre-molded and maybe you can also replicate some uh, let's say damage to the wood which will bring more realism here. Another plastic sprue the same type as we saw before this one will be used for the chair Next we go on with plastic sprue for the samovar as it was written there. So whole sprue is dedicated to the samovar and various cups which will be accompanying this let's say device. 
So it, it looks quite good. Here you have to combine two halves together, but that's pretty much all. Even though parts are not that huge, but it is understandable for 135 scale. I do not see any issue with this. Next we continue with uh, weapons for the infantry. So here we have several types of various weapons and they will be handy for adding let's say a um, bit depth to the overall scene but as you can see some of them will stay in your spare parts which is also handy because you can use them in different projects. Next we also get the special teapot and cups. Those are molded out of white plastic. Let's zoom in so that you can see them. Again nice molding quality, I don't have any issues with this and obviously white plastic might be even good without any additional painting but it's up to you I mean some modelers prefer to paint everything they touch. Next we go on with uh, small envelope here we have mini art logo and obviously it is dedicated to P parts as you can see there are not that many of them but they're really tiny so be ready for this sharp tweezers will be required because as you can see they're smaller than my fingertip. These are various handles and plates as far as I can guess, so it will add some fine detailing to the kit. Next we have assembly manual, just give me a second to pick it up from the bottom of the box. And we will take a closer look, so here it is. Let's zoom out, then we close the lenses a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So here we have the assembly menu. Of course, there are no history notes. We go on with or start with parts map, then we go on with assembly of the main stove. As you can see here, straight away we have to combine some P parts. Here we assemble the samovar. So in samovar you have to use a lot of P parts. Be ready for this. And note that even knife is replicated with P parts and fork as well, which is quite surprising in my opinion. Here we have table assembly, chair assembly, next we go on with various dishes, then we have painting guide which is printed in color for the figures and it also combines the assembly manual for the figures so be careful and take the right parts for your figures. The same goes on for the weapons and equipment. As you can see for some weapons you have to combine several parts together and on the last page we have overall um, scene layout. We also have several posters here which can be cut out and placed on the walls and also colors chart is provided here. <coughs> Sorry. Nevertheless, colors chart is provided in several manufacturers designations which is really cool. You won't have to do any conversions because it is already here. And obviously walls are not supplied for your room or house, so you have to build it with your own hands. As I said before, this kit should be already available on Modelimax webshop, so if you would like to get a day sub, just go there. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.